Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis, KIPRA, is a public institution that was established in May 1997 through a legal notice and it commenced its operations in June 1999. In January 2007, His Excellency the President signed the KIPRA Bill into law and the KIPRA Act No. 15 of 2006 commenced on 1st February 2007. We are 21 years old since uh, the institute opened its doors officially. We are under the State Department of Planning, uh, the National Treasury and Planning Ministry. Our foundation actually started from uh, the State Department of Planning. Uh, it was uh, part of uh, the Long Range uh, Planning Unit at the Ministry and uh, the government found it necessary uh, to have an institution that will not only uh, uh, take up that role of looking at the medium to long term uh, development issues of this country but also to have an institution that is able to sit down and provide uh, research and capacity building uh, services to the government as pertains uh, uh, public policy uh, uh, matters. A lot of people forget that KIPRA came into uh, reality as a policy research institute at a very critical moment of our country. This is when the country was moving, changing the paradigm from state-controlled and planned economy of the 60s and 70s to full, fully blown economic liberalization that was presaged by a policy paper in 1979 on economic growth and reform in Kenya. The government had been thinking seriously previously uh, about ways of uh, cutting down on spending, bringing macroeconomic balance, balances, and also freeing the, the private sector uh, and the currency from controls. As an institution, we have a mandate uh, to promote evidence-based uh, uh, public policy process and we do so uh, by undertaking uh, objective uh, research and analysis and we cover all aspects uh, in economic uh, uh, analysis. Uh, we also undertake uh, our capacity building and this is focused on all aspects in the public policy uh, making uh, process. As a department, uh, since it was established in 2017, we have developed a number of uh, programs. Uh, one of the programs is the Kipra Mentorship Program for Universities, uh, KMPUS in, in short. This is a program that was born out of demand, uh, whereby we used to receive a lot of requests from universities, from schools wanting to come to Kipra and uh, understand uh, what we do. The program mainly uh, focuses on uh, enriching the students' understanding uh, of uh, what public policy formulation is. Also within the program we look forward to, to enlighten the students on uh, research, how to undertake research. We also enlighten students on what uh, the government policy is all about. And while we undertake all this, we, we do this in collaboration with uh, a number of uh, government institutions, that is including the uh, Vision 2030. We also come along with the Youth Enterprise Development Fund. We also have the National Youth uh, Council on Board. We have the SME Support Center. Uh, which is a private institution, institution that brings in the aspect of entrepreneurship. The other program we run in the department is a Young Professionals Program. This is a flagship program for KIPRA, uh, which was initiated in 2003. The Young Professionals Program is a one-year program which seeks to build the skills uh, of uh, the participants who are usually the graduates of master's program. The other program we have is the commercialized uh, capacity building programs. Uh, these are programs that uh, uh, are either initiated by uh, the client, they write to us, they request us to deliver a particular program, or we, we come up 
with the, the programs and then they apply to our programs to participate in the programs. The national government has a responsibility uh, from the constitution of building capacity for uh, the county government so that uh, the devolution process can be uh, smooth. The social sector department has undertaken various projects. The department has also uh, worked with the council of governors to develop the county COVID re-engineering and recovery strategies. Under this program, the department was able to produce one combined uh, COVID recovery and re-engineering strategy for counties and 47 count-specific recovery strategies. The government has to be able to make policies to be able to and, and, and enable the public to be aware of what its in, intention is in, in these areas. And so these policies to be made require necessary research, background research, require necessary uh, background you know, analysis and investigation and various you know, analysis of, of different things. Because you can't just make a policy without first of all interrogating or investigating its consequences on different members of the public and on different aspects. In the Kipras business model, easier, the last letter R represents the need for the institute to conduct relevant policy research and analysis. We have mainstream policy surveillance as an approach to enable the institute to be able to respond to issues that are happening in the policy landscape. And this we do through having a weekly uh, policy uh, analysis, the gathering of research information on what is happening around the, the policy arena in every sector. Partnerships play a key role in the delivery of Kipra's mandate. In this regard, the Institute established the Partnerships Department to promote networking locally, regionally and internationally. The Partnerships Department is one of the newest departments at the Institute. The department serves uh, four main objectives. Uh, the first one is to identify and sustain uh, partners and we do that by entering into memorandum of understanding with partners and uh, contracts uh, where money is involved. And then uh, the next uh, objective is to uh, um, mobilize resources for Kipra and uh, we do that by negotiating with partners who can uh, give grants to the institute and uh, we also do that by um, developing project proposals as a way of mobilizing uh, resources. And then another bigger role that we do is to manage projects and programs at the Institute. And this involves uh, uh, coming up with guidelines on how to uh, develop uh, uh, project proposals. We also do trainings in the same area, mainly to um, uh, raise resources through uh, projects. We have two main activities that uh, um, um, we do at the department. One is to coordinate what we call the Kenya Think Tanks Forum, where we always have an annual event to, that brings together think tanks with policy makers to discuss uh, matters of policy interest. And then we also um, link up with the think tanks at the international level. And the most uh, visible is our working with the Think Tanks and Civil Societies program at the University of Pennsylvania, which is a global uh, uh, program that uh, uh, runs think tanks annually. And Kipra has consistently performed well in those rankings. The Institute has established a public policy repository in line with KIPRA Act No. 15 of 2006. The public policy repository is an online platform in line with the KIPRA Act No. 15 of 2006. KIPRA has established a public policy repository which is a one-stop shop for national and county government policy documents. Uh, this is in line with our mandate 
of developing and maintaining a reservoir of knowledge on public policy. We have a lot of information that is now readily available uh, for the public to access and we are very happy even for the researchers that they don't need to spend so much time looking for these documents. Kipra uses various platforms to engage stakeholders and disseminate policy research outputs. Kipra has also within its mandate provided platforms to both you know government and private sector institutions to be able to bring to the fore or discuss uh, public policy issues. Key among these forums is the Kipra Annual Regional Conference. The first conference was held in 2018 and was themed Building Resilience to Mitigate the Effects of Droughts and Floods. The second conference happened in 2019 and was themed A Gendered Approach to Unlocking the Potential for Sustainable Development. The most recent one was in 2020 and was themed Enhancing Inclusivity Through Empowering Persons Living with Disability. In an effort to reach the community, Kipra has conducted various corporate social responsibility activities. Among the recent ones include a tree planting and sensitization activity in Tito Andai Primary School in Makueni County. Here, Kipra board and staff planted trees, donated a water tank, and sensitized the school and neighboring community on national values and principles of governance as well as HIV and AIDS. Another CSR activity is a visit to St. Francis School for the Visually Impaired in West Pocot. During the event, Kipra sensitized the students and staff on the national values and principles of governance. A braille version of a Kipra developed national values and principles of governance booklet was also presented to the students. Kipra also recently partnered with people living with disabilities in Naivasha to plant indigenous trees at the Kenya Wildlife Service Training Institute, KWSDI. Other CSR events include participation in the First Ladies Beyond Zero and Standard Chartered Marathons. Kipra has a board of directors that is accountable for the organization's strategy, activities and performance. Parastatals are guided by the Mongozo Code of Governance. So my role as the chair is of course to provide leadership uh, and work together with the team and uh, try and encourage cohesiveness and uh, ensure that as per Mongozo, I am providing the necessary guidance and en enabling the organization to move along with respect to compliance with the issues that are required of parastatals. As a board, we have provided oversight as we are required to um, the institution. We work very well with our uh, management and that synergy between uh, management and the board enables the institution to function well. We tell you to keep up when the staff, the staff establishment will be remote. And as a committee, we've been working to ensure that we reach our optimum staff establishment. So we are looking forward to having a full staff establishment at least in the next six months. And the finance committee of the board is the ears of the board. We are the ones who look at the financial health of uh, Kipra so that we can be able to support uh, the board in its fiduciary role of ensuring that uh, there is proper and prudent use of financial resources uh, that we get from uh, government and other donors. Basically, the role of the Board Audit Committee is to help the organization in terms of ensuring that the, the processes, the internal uh, controls, the functions of each and every department conforms or is compliant with the set down regulations within the government and, inter and also international required standards. KIPRA is committed to the delivery of its mandate for the realization of the country's development goals. For more information on how to access our products and services, contact us using the phone numbers and email addresses on your screen. You can also visit us at our offices in Nairobi on second floor, Bishop's Garden Towers, Bishop's Road. Kipra is the place 
that you need to come to see uh, the policy ideas and how they have developed over the period.